Hey everyone! For this week's vlog, I want to tell you a story to create education, create awareness, and maybe even just save someone's life. And this vlog is going to be on how ibuprofen almost took my life. Last week, I shared the vlog on None of Us Are Invincible, and I learned this in 2007. It was actually back then that I was building my new house, so I had a lot of things going on. I was in weddings and just speaking and busy, and so I really was not taking the time to really listen to my body, really listen to what was happening. I was experiencing huge symptoms, um, one being that I was extremely lightheaded. Actually, when I was doing my transfers with my caregivers, I actually was passing out. So anywhere from two to 10 seconds, I was, I was completely passed out. And of course, my caregivers were very scared by that, telling me, you need to go see a doctor. But I didn't want to see a doctor because I was trying to lose weight for a wedding that I was going to be in. And so I knew, felt like he would just tell me, eat more. And so I also was, ex uh, symptom two was I was extremely pale. And many of us did not see this until afterwards. But I was noticing even in my pictures that I was taking that I had just put on all my makeup. And in the picture, I looked like I had nothing on. And so uh, that was symptom number two. Symptom number three was I was craving crunchy foods. And this was a huge uh, symptom that I know now, but I didn't realize it at the time. So I was cucumbers, ice chips, things like that. And so um, thankfully, oh, I'm so thankful that during this time I was also having a cough, a real nagging cough. And for me, coughing is very difficult. And so I decided to make a doctor's appointment. I went and saw Dr. Eric Werda here in Ellsworth. Thank God for Eric Werda because instead of putting me on an antibiotic like most doctors do, he ordered for my blood to be drawn because he didn't want to put me on another antibiotic if it didn't register an infection. And they came back in after drawing my blood and said, ah, we need to draw that again. It didn't register correctly. And five minutes later, he came back in and asked me what hospital I wanted to go to. And I was so confused. I was like, what do you mean? I came in for a cough. What's going on? Well, here my hemoglobin, hemoglobin was 5.3, which usually the normal hemoglobin is between 12 and 15. And so they consider you anemic below nine. And so I, um, was brought by, uh, I brought, went over to the hospital and they gave me three, actually four bags of uh, blood transfusion. And man, it looked like I got a spray tan by the time I was done. Obviously, that was one of the symptoms that I was uh, experiencing. And I also, I should say, I was really tired. I was like falling asleep in conversations with friends. I was having a hard time staying awake in meetings. And so that was another symptom too. But once I got those blood transfusions, then they were like, we got to figure out what is causing, you're bleeding internally somewhere. And so we did a bunch of scans, a bunch of exams, and they were trying to tell me that I had uh, diseases like ulcerative colitis or Crohn's. I'm like, no, I have friends that have those diseases. I know I can eat basically anything that I want. And it was here where a doctor at Mayo Clinic had a light bulb go on and he said to me, are you taking ibuprofen? And here, crazy enough, I have been taking ibuprofen almost every night before going to bed. My shoulders would be sore uh, for the, from all the long day's activities. And so I was taking ibuprofen and laying down and it was sitting in my colon all night long, it was actually eating holes in my colon and it almost took my life. Had I not gone to the doctor, I've talked to multiple nurses and doctors since, they said easily it could have been that night, even within the next week, that I could have died in my sleep. And so I am so thankful for, for um, Eric Werda uh, making this appointment, uh, drawing my blood so that I could find out really what was happening. And so, I say this because um, oh, it was about almost a year and a half to two years after this that I lost my dear friend Darcy Pollen. 
to almost this exact same thing. She had a bleeding ulcer. She was experiencing these same symptoms and did not go to the doctor. And she died in her sleep. And it broke my heart because I was thinking, what could I have done? Didn't I tell her about this? I don't remember if I did or not. And so I feel like sharing this, if you're taking ibuprofen on an empty stomach on a regular basis, just remember over-the-counter drugs are still drugs and they can hurt, hurt you. They can even take your life. And so I hope today that you've enjoyed this message, that you can share this with other people and just watch your friends, watch yourself, listen to your body. Your body tells you when things are not right and be sure and get them checked out. Thanks for watching.